People in Washougal have a critical vote on a school levy coming up. Voters failed two replacement levies in February. So if this one fails, the district says it could be forced to cut all sports and clubs. Our Tim Gordon joins us in Washougal. And Tim, the vote for this special election is happening April 25th. It is, Ashley, and on the ballot, the exact same two levies that didn't pass before. But those supporting these levies feel that they've got the word out better about just how important they are. It's pretty unusual when replacement levies to fund schools don't pass. After all, they are continuing funding from the levies before. These are not new taxes. This is what our community has been investing in us and in our students um, and in the future of our community for 40 years. Washougal School District Superintendent Mary Templeton says levy funds pay for what the state doesn't. In this case, that includes a new roof for Washougal High School. Three, one, two, three, family! and everything extracurricular, from sports programs to clubs and more. The Washougal District says if the levies fail again, they will face a 20% loss of revenue and be forced to cut 40 teachers and counselors, 44 classified staff from paraeducators to custodians, five district level positions, and 155 coaches and advisors, essentially ending all sports, clubs, and more. I can't even emphasize, it's not even in my head that it won't pass because um, I can't imagine what it would be like. School Board Vice President Angela Hancock feels confident they've done a good job talking and listening to voters, but they certainly don't have everyone on their side. This man suggesting the district keeps wanting more and more. You don't buy it? I'm not buying it. You vote no? Yeah. yeah. We voted no before. They pushed this back so fast on us, nobody had time to to gear up for the vote, no. But the fact is, these levies will cost a homeowner with a $539,000 house about $2 more a month than the previous one, going from $97 to $99. So when it didn't pass last time, parent Megan Davis was upset. Uh, yeah, it did. It did frustrate me. I want everyone to, to support our schools. Voters will take it up again soon to decide if the money will be there for school kids in 2024. The loss in February was in the three to four point range. District leaders since then have held a lot of what they call listening sessions where they answered questions of community members and they say they hope that they have gotten them more aware and on board with these levies. Again, the vote April 25th. Back to you. Tim, thank you.